Welcome to Life with the Spectrum. I'm your host, Gina Cavalli. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time you used Google? What did you Google? And have you ever Googled autism? I can guarantee you that when you do Google autism, the first thing that's gonna come up besides the definition is a great organization called Autism Speaks. And with me today is the Area Executive Director of the South, Kimberly Dick. Kimberly, how are you today? Hey, Gina, I'm doing well, how are you? I love your organization. Number one, there's so much information on the website. Oh, well, thank you for your kind words. Yes, our website can sometimes be even overwhelming for myself <laughs> um, because we're just chock full of such amazing resources and information. And it's not just for people in Georgia or people in California. Every single state has resources right there. You can click into which state you live in and go from there. Correct. It's across the country. I mean, our resources you can really use internationally. There's just some great, you know, really great evidence-based, you know, information, strategies, resources. You know, we want everyone to have access to as much information as they possibly can. I think your website does a great job with that. I, I found a couple of interesting things that I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, what is this art or autism response team? What exactly do they do? I found this on the website. I was like, well, I need to know about this. <laughs> I love our autism response team. So what the autism response team is, is they are a group of specially trained associates across the country. We even have bilingual um, associates and it's a dedicated 1-800 number. Um, I'm going to do the plug 1-888-288-4762. <laughs> Or you can email them at help at autismspeaks.org. You can also chat them on the website, um, message us, so many different ways of communicating with us. And what we do is we provide that direct one-on-one -on -one support to connect, you know, families, anyone who calls us, you know, with the services, resources, and information um, to help no matter what their question is. For example, if I wanted to call and say, Listen, I just got the diagnosis in my family and I really don't know where to start. <laughs> and my pediatrician is just giving me all this overwhelming information. I can call this art response team and they can kind of push me in the right direction. Absolutely. We have a toolkit. We call it the newly diagnosed toolkit. So we have one for early diagnosis. We have so that, you know, birth to like age five, six. And then we have an older diagnosis because we know that a lot of um, individuals sometimes don't get diagnosed until middle school, high school. And then even for girls. adults. Yes, yes. And, and even for adults, um, you know, we've recently, um, you know, in my experience, I've heard from so many, you know, parents that after their child receives a diagnosis, they themselves, you know, are kind of like, hmm and may kind of go back and get a diagnosis of autism themselves. So yeah. it is an amazing resource. It walks you through, especially if you're you're just now, you know, starting out on this journey, walks through a lot of these acronyms. Everybody loves a good acronym. <laughs> yes. So, you know, not just what is autism, but what is speech? What is occupational therapy, physical therapy? ABA, floor time. Yeah, now, yeah. This might be a toolkit for the newly diagnosed, but let's say, for example, uh, I've got a teenager now and I'm like, oh my gosh, well, uh, I got to start thinking about like college. I got to start thinking about like uh, what, what what happens when I lose my parental rights at 18. Are, is Can people call the art response team or the, I call Absolutely. it the art response team. Yes? Yes. Absolutely. No matter what your question might be, we have great transition resources. Um, and those can even be broken down by state because we know sometimes states might be a little bit different or a little bit tricky, um, depending upon if there's different policies or how their waivers, you know, might be. But truly, I mean, we have resources for everything. Uh, everything from, you know, concerns about meeting developmental milestones to, you um, one resource that I personally, myself, because I have two kids on the spectrum, a resource that I found really helpful for my son when he was younger was our hair cutting toolkit. My son hated <laughs> haircuts from a sensory perspective. And yeah, it, 
utilizing those tools and resources, um, you know, he's now able to get haircuts still, on, but it's a much more positive experience for all of us. I'm sitting here speaking with Kimberly Dick, who is the area executive director for Autism Speaks here in the South. Uh, Kimberly, let's talk a little bit about some things that are coming up. I think we had great timing and timing is everything. We have the big autism walk coming up here in Atlanta, but these are all over the nation. Uh, can people get more information through the autismspeaks.org website? Absolutely. You can even search. In fact, I think a pop up right now, um, you know, comes up um, directing people when you go to autismspeaks.org, you know, to your local walk. And yes, the fall is kicking off our fundraising and walk season. So there will be walks across the country. We also have the ability for people to participate virtually if they don't feel comfortable, you know, attending in person. Well, that's good. And I just really encourage everyone, you know, not only is this the largest autism fundraiser, you know, in the world, but this is how we fuel our mission. This is how we provide services like the autism response team and all of those resources for free for families. So we don't charge. I was just going to ask you that, like, where does the money, I, I don't know. Can you give an idea of what, say an individual wants to walk? What's the cost of that? It is free to register. Um, you can register as many people as you want. And we just encourage you to fundraise, to support our mission. And donate. Yes, donate, you know, create a Facebook fundraiser, you know, send texts and emails. We do have an app you can download. So it's super easy to send text messages or even emails to your friends and families. Um, we've had people host fundraisers like favorite restaurants that they like to eat at and asking them to do like a give back, all kinds of creative, you know, fundraising ideas. And, you know, we have a uh, uh, incentives for different, you know, fundraising milestones. So if you raise $150, you receive a commemorative walk day t-shirt, um, you know, in the city that you walk in. So yeah. I really like that the money that gets raised for the fundraisers, like you said, goes to help, you know, fuel mm -hmm. the art response team. And also, I just read an article literally 25 minutes ago about this uh, autismspeaks.org was part of this research program where this family in Canada, they have a, a, a severely, a, a boy with severe autism, he's 17, and they found the genetic mutation. And autismspeaks.org was part of this research program. And I think that when people do go to the website, you see all the different research programs that Autism Speaks is really yes, part yes. of. Yes, So we don't do, you know, the direct research ourselves, but we fund, you know, whether sure. it's grants, you know, advocating for federal, you know, dollars through the NIH to fund, you know, research or asking, you know, providing grants ourselves or really this this study that you're, you know, you're mentioning as part of a collaboration that we have with Google called Missing, which allows researchers across the world to access, you know, our, our database to just advance, you know, the science research. And it's really about, you know, better diagnosis and better treatment options. And it, it just, it's so critical, the more we can understand about autism, the more that, you know, we can help individuals and better, you know, customize what that treatment looks like. I agree because everyone who's on the spectrum is very different from another person who's on the spectrum. So one treatment oh. program will not be uh, the right thing for another child or another adult um, exactly. moving forward. Exactly. Exactly. I'm here sitting with Kimberly Dick from AutismSpeaks.org, a wonderful organization. You are the area director, executive director for the South. Uh, I also know with the walk coming up, then we transition into November, which is all about the week or month of kindness. Can you tell me a little bit about that and what people or businesses can do? Yes. So we launched at 2020 something called our kindness campaign. And we really encourage, you know, in November, um, there's World Kindness Day and World Kindness Month. And then we really carry that campaign through November into, you know, April for Autism Awareness Month. 
uh, as well. And if you go to kindnesscampaign.org or you know, even autismspeaks.org, you can find information about the kindness campaign. But it's another way that you can kind of raise awareness and um, acceptance about autism. There's, you know, you can participate whether you're a company, a school, I mean, even a family team. And there's different, you know, not only information about autism, but, you know, resources to kind of help you be more inclusive. So it could be education materials if you're a teacher and you want a more understanding in the classroom or in the school environment, or if you're an employer and you want to be able to show and highlight your inclusive hiring, you know, opportunities. So lots of great information and resources there. I think that businesses who hire, I just did a show with uh, Nicole DeWard. I don't know if you watched that. Um, and she owns Rise Tea and Coffee. Yeah. And she employs uh, people with all kinds of disabilities and people on the spectrum. And I, I just love that because more and more businesses need to have the diverse workforce they can't be biased, and it includes young, old, black, white, uh, people with challenges, people on the spectrum. In fact, like Microsoft and Google have whole departments um, where they are hiring people on the spectrum, and that makes my heart feel so good because it's it's a it's a job that that we know so many people are qualified to do and yet weren't really given the chance Absolutely. up until recently. Absolutely. I mean, I think as parents, you know, and as, you know, human beings, you know, we just want to live the most fulfilling and rewarding life possible. And like you said, so many of these kids who become teens, who become adults don't have these opportunities because of misconceptions and, and information, I mean, it's just kind of like, we look at like how autism even started. I mean, there were so many misconceptions about autism and we're still dealing with that, you know, as a society. So it's really great to see all size companies, you know, whether you're a small, you know, mom and pop business, or if you're a huge fortune 10 company that is really <laughs> about the inclusive hiring. I love that. You know, sitting with Kimberly Dick, the area executive director of the South for AutismSpeaks.org. Kimberly, what are some other things that people can find on AutismSpeaks.org's website or through the art response team that will really help families in whatever stage they're going through from newly diagnosed to maybe transitional toolkits for older kids and, and young adults. Um, what are some other things that people can find there that you feel, you know, we really need to touch on? Yes. So two other quick things I highly recommend. We recently launched something called my autism guide. Again, if you go to autismspeaks.org, you should see a link on the upper left for my autism guide. And that's really to provide um, kind of care coordination throughout the lifespan. So I, you know, again, have two kids on the spectrum, they're very different from each other. And so things and resources that I might need for my son are not going to be what I'm looking for for my daughter. And it really kind of guides and provides suggestions, you know, to help me as a parent, you know, find blog articles, you know, uh, YouTube videos, other sort of resources, you know, and, and, and interests. So, I'm particularly interested in the science and research part of this. So it'll, you know, find articles and new information, you know, and, and put everything in a easy digestible way for me to follow and access these sort of resources. So you create, you create that content guide on your own for your create child yeah. and then it ebbs and flows. Information comes in that might, you get pinged or notified when something comes in that might be relevant to your, yes. I love exactly. that. Exactly. That's so awesome. You can, you, it asks you a few questions like your child's age, you know, where, you know, where their independent skills are you know, what are you concerned about? What are you looking for? You know, you can put in different um, diagnoses. So if you also want information about sensory integration or seizures or GI, it, and it, it 
takes all of that data, you know, from autismspeaks.org and just really aggregates it in a way that's easier to digest because I love it. As you said, if anybody ever Googles, you can be really overwhelmed with almost almost too much information is out Uh, there in a way. Right. So I love that you can make it kind of personalized. And what else is going on at autismspeaks.org? Um, Something we also recently launched in 2020 is we started closed Facebook groups. And so we have some national ones that, um, you know, are open to anybody who, no matter where you live in the country, about newly diagnosis. We have some adults only um, that is managed by self-advocates themselves to kind of share and support each other as an online sort of resource group. We have transition and then we have groups um, across our states. And so it's just another way for parents to, you know, post a quick question or because sometimes your 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 village, your community is how you f- stumble upon other ideas or resources and thinking outside the box. And, you know, that's another thing that our walks, you know, kind of do is bring our community together in person and connect them with other families and other individuals and resources in the community and service providers. So, Kimberly, where is the walk going to be here in Atlanta? We this year are going to be on Saturday, October 1st at the Battery Atlanta. So 285, yep, 75. Yeah, Woody Hill. Truest yeah. Park. <laughs> yeah, you know it. <laughs> and and the walks across the country, uh, you, people would just have to go to autismspeaks.org and then they can click on that individual state. As I said, Correct. Uh, when I first went to the website, and this is my own story. So when I first went to the website like nine years ago, um, mm-hmm. they didn't have all 50 states. Oh. And as we grow and the journey becomes really Um, all encompassing because now one in 44 kids are diagnosed on the spectrum. Uh, It really is a great tool that you can pick and choose which states you live in and find walks and find resources and find therapy and find school, find a plethora of information. Uh, And then with the art response team now, this is terrific. And amazing. Yeah. And, and then what you just said about aggregating your own content and what's that called on the website? It's called My Autism Guide. And if you go to autismspeaks.org, again, you should have three kind of tabs at the top. And one of them will be about the walk. One will be My Autism Guide. And then there's other kind of navigation tabs as well. So I just love everything that uh, autismspeaks.org does and has on the website. And meeting you today, Kimberly Dick, Area Executive Director for the South here uh, with uh, autismspeaks.org. Is there, I mean, we know the website, autismspeaks.org. What is the art response team phone number for families who are watching that go, oh my God, I have a question, I have to call? Well, the good news is, is it is on our homepage. So if okay. nothing else, go to autismspeaks.org and you will definitely see the autism response team there. No. But you can access them by emailing them at help at autismspeaks.org or our 1-800 number, which is 1-888-288-4762. Take a, take a minute to go through the website uh, as a viewer, as a mom of, uh, of a child on the spectrum. Uh, you know, knowledge is power for, for parents. I always say that it doesn't have to be for parents, just in general, knowledge is power. And I believe the more we equip ourselves, the more you take time to read an article or read one of these research studies that are out there. They have a whole list on uh, the website. You, you, you can gain a little bit, even if you take a tidbit here and a tidbit there, and then one day you have to apply it to your own child. You, you'd be amazed what you remember and what you retain with all of that information there. So autismspeaks.org, uh, the 188 number again for me. 1-888-288-4762.
And please remember with all of this, the Autism Walk comes up on October 1st, not just here in Georgia, but in just about every state across the 50, you can take advantage of a walk right there local in your area. All you have to do is go to the autismspeaks.org website or just Google. I mean, whatever you can do, we want to make sure that you and your family are walking, uh, that you create a team. Maybe you work with some really cool people who can put together a team and fundraise. That would be terrific too. Uh, and then kindness week starts in November. Uh, Kimberly, is there anything that I'm missing here? No, Gina, you're amazing. Thank you for sharing all these resources and, you know, taking your own experience and being so transparent to help others because, as you said, we all, you know, knowledge is power and we all like learn from each other. So thank you. Oh, gosh. Some of the best things, some of the best advice I've gotten are from other parents who have already been there, done that. And that's why I started so the show, Kimberly, truly, is because is because, you know, I was so scared uh, at one years old lyric, they said he might have CP. So we go through the MRIs and the this and the that. And then they said, OK, he doesn't have CP, but we can tell you he's going to be put on the spectrum. Yeah. Hands down. And then, of course, the start, the tears. And then I have to start digesting this pill. And I don't think as families, we ever really no. do digest the pill. It gets a little easier to swallow, but still it chokes on the way down. And so starting this program where we can all take the journey together at whatever point you are in your journey, you'll find an episode right here with Life with the Spectrum. You can like, comment, share, mostly subscribe below, and definitely get in touch with autismspeaks.org. Kimberly, thank, thank you, you so much for your time today. I appreciate you and the organization that you work for. I'll see you out there October 1st for the Autism Walks Atlanta. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for being on the show today. Thank you again, Gina. I am so grateful to be here. Make sure you like, comment, share below. And until next time, we live life with the spectrum. See ya.